Hello, this is Johnny from Funny Looking and today we're talking about parenting fails. Now, there's always somebody that's not got kids that's always quick to jump in with parenting advice. You know the kind, like rub your baby in olive oil and that will stop them coughing. How does that, what, no, go away, leave, leave me and my child alone. So here it is, a guy with no kids ready to tell you <laughs> about parenting fails. My friend's 10 year old daughter was going over to a friend's house in the same apartment complex but a few buildings away. Okay, what do we do if someone tries to grab you? Kick him in the balls and yell FIRE! Right, but that's not a good word, it's testicles. Okay, I'll kick him in the balls and yell TESTICLES! <laughs> that might work too. <laughs> that is just, that's a game we played in school. Testicles! Bang! Oh, you got them again. I don't know how you keep finding them because they're in the one spot. They, they don't. They don't move very often, or they shouldn't move. Don't move them. Don't. Don't. I don't. And that men are so insecure about them moving that you sometimes catching them, just holding them, cupping them gently in the couch, just in case they go for a little walk on their own. It's just. It's a. It's an abnormal thing. They've got this whole thing. Are they still there? No, they're still there. That's good. One. Yep. It's. Uh, it's still there. Just that one. Just that one ball I've got. It's, it's, it's not been an easy life for me. <laughs> I told my children repeatedly that if I found any more junk on their bedroom floor, I would be donating it to the thrift store. I told them they had 15 minutes to clean it up off the floor. I came back to find everything picked up, except they went to the kitchen cupboards and had put every food they didn't like in a nice neat pile right in the middle of the floor. That's clever. I can imagine it. It's just like that porridge and that bran cereal and stuff like broccoli there'd be a little tree of broccoli right in the middle as some sort of garnish for the pile of crap <laughs> my son was playing with deodorant and a lighter and almost set himself on fire this is a great start i've just read the first line of this and already i'm thinking this is going to go amazing i made him write out i must not play with aerosols 100 times he wrote, I must not play with arseholes 100 times. We framed it and it's hanging on the wall. At dinner with family, starting a swear jar that we all agree the money will go to help animals at the local shelter. Good. Animals don't have a voice of their own. Animals can't really call you for help. They tend to hide their pain. They tend to hide their whole sickness because it gets them killed in the wilderness. And it's good that there are people out there willing to help the animals and the wildlife. I think more people should. I've got all the rules down with the kids and they are excited to start. Daughter, eight years old, says, Well, shit, I'm going to help the animals. I'll be right back. <laughs> Before wife and I can even process what she got away with, our son blurts out, Fuck yeah, me too. Both running to get money from the rooms. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's... They're, it's for a good cause. They're helping the animals. My parents tried to start a chore payment system around the house. There was a list of chores and then payment for the chores. Clean guest bathroom, a dollar fifty. First, I just kept using that bathroom, so they did clean the daily. Basically, he got paid to poop. I've worked with guys like that. The whole, my boss gets a dollar, I get a dime. That's why I poop in company time. I've worked with guys like that. They come back from their break, go, well, that's pooping time, and they come back half an hour later. It's, <laughs> this is how it starts. So they stopped that after the first week. Well, they're smarter than people that have <laughs> been paying the guys I've worked with. Next, I realised it didn't say who had to do the cleaning. I'd pay the neighbourhood kids to do it instead. I'd give them a dollar to clean the bathroom and pocket the 50 cents. I did that one for like three weeks before the other parents found out and I got yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> when I was little, my family was at an Angels game. My mother went to the restroom and left me with my dad. I wandered off and was eventually found halfway around the stadium. A crowd had gathered to watch as a police officer held me out at arm's length while I screamed, Call the police! This man is not my daddy! My parents had taught me a stranger danger but forgotten to teach me what the police looked like. <laughs> I suppose it's better safe than sorry. I mean, at least this way, you've got the attention of people. People are still looking. It's better to just shout it just in case. I still shout it. 
I still shout stranger danger when I get a tap on the shoulder. Excuse me, sir. Stranger danger. No, go away. And people look for my adult. <laughs> As good people, we taught our kids that littering isn't nice. As humans, we also let some curse words fly in front of them. Of course. Kids, if you're watching this video, there's gonna be a lot more swearing. Don't repeat half of them. Some are okay. We were at our city's 4th of July celebration when the oldest was four. We were walking around and someone tossed a trash on the ground. Captain Litterbug flew into action, picked up the trash and yelled, Hey asshole, you dropped this! Or tapping him on the butt. <laughs> The hero we need. The hero we deserve. We need somebody like that. <laughs> I was trying to teach my four-year-old that it is important to go to sleep because our brains need to recharge. I compared it to my iPad needing to recharge after it dies. He said, okay, got really quiet and told me, mother, I need to go to sleep. I agreed with him but asked why he was suddenly tired. He started crying and says, because I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> My battery goes flat sometimes, and just like technology, the older you get, the quicker your battery drains. Sometimes I need a nap, dealing with people on a daily basis. Sometimes I don't even want to deal with people, and I just go straight to sleep. You want to come to the party? Nope. I'm doing something more important. What? Two big pillows, lying in the back, Netflix. I'm sorted. My kids were begging for a pet. I told them if they could keep their rooms clean for six months, they could get one. My youngest proceeded to clean his room, move his clothes in a sleeping bag into the hallway, then lock his door so the room couldn't get dirty as he slept in the hallway. That's commitment. I mean, if that doesn't prove he's committed to the cause, what does? He's willing to do what it takes for the sake of the animal. Get him one. I think he'd be a great caretaker. I think you make the best of friends with animals. Go for it. My aunt was trying to teach my young cousins that spiders are leggy friends and nothing to be scared of. She demonstrated this by bringing them all into the bathroom to witness a huge wolf spider. A wolf spider, let's check this out. These things must be massive. Okay, I'm not going to show the wolf spider for those of you that are scared of spiders. They're basically the size of the palm of my hand. Like, this is kind of like, you know. I'm not scared of spiders myself. I think they're incredible. I think they're actually necessary. They take care of these whole, like, flying mosquitoes and bugs and actual problems. And they sit in the corner of a room. They sit in the corner, build a little web, leave you alone. They're fine. But... I'm not going to show the spiders to you all for those of you who would literally throw your phones across the room. <laughs> you see, it's so much more scared of us than we are of ah! It bit her. Of course it bit her. She flung it high into the air, screaming blue murder, whilst a newly traumatised offspring screamed a falsetto counterpoint. <laughs> Yeah, as much as I just spoke about how spiders are necessary and I love them and I leave them in a the corner of a room. I leave them in a the corner of a room. I don't go petting them. I don't go picking them up. Leave them where they are. If you're going to pick them up, if you have to pick them up, a bit of paper, paintbrush or a cup or something, take them to the window. Don't pick one up with your bare hands. They get scared. Like it just says there, they are more scared of us. But that triggers their defence mechanism and that's baiting you. And some are poisonous. Just, if you have to take care of them, do it safely. Told kids that if they were bad, they would get coal in their stockings on Christmas. What's coal, they asked. Well, it's a rock you can light and fire. They all want coal now. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair though, if you told the younger me, it's this little black rock that you can throw in a fire and it goes woof can I have ten? <laughs> can I have ten in a bowl? and I'll see you outside successfully taught my child to question authority I forgot I was an authority <laughs> that's, that's the thing with kids they'll always ask why and no answer they get will ever satisfy them don't look up at the sun why? 
because it'll blind you. Why? Because it's bright. Why? Because it's a big ball of burning gas and it's, it's right up there. This beautiful ball of burning... The thing is though, I didn't know what it was called the sun until I went somewhere else outside of Scotland. I mean, for the longest time, I thought it was called what the fuck is that? Because we never saw the sun. We just saw like clouds. And then I went on holiday somewhere and then I looked up Oh, what the fuck is that? That's the sun. No, that's what it's called. What the fuck is that? That's just what we called it. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. Good luck to all the parents out there. I couldn't do it myself. I would perpetually have this face. If any of you have any funny stories from your own childhood, or if you have kids of your own who have said something hilarious, I would love to hear it because kids really do say the funniest things. They don't have a filter. And they're my favourite kind of people who will just come right out with the truth and blast you. And it's so funny and so cutting. I love it. Well, I'll see you all in the next video. Like, subscribe, and if there's any topics you'd like to see me do, just hit a comment below. Bye-bye.